In this video, we're going to take a look how to set up our dynamic metadata in Strapi. Currently in our application, if we navigate to our Strapi content manager and take a look under global, we have this title and description. Let's use this data in our application as our metadata. Inside application, if we navigate to source, our app folder and take a look at our layout folder, we currently see that our metadata is being set here statically. Let's take a look how we could make this dynamic and get our data from our Strapi application. You could learn more about metadata in Next.js by reading their docs. We're going to use their dynamic metadata example. So if you have any further questions, you could always ask them in the comments, but don't be shy to use Next.js documentation. In order to get our dynamic data, we need to make a fetch request inside the metadata function to get our data. Now, you know that we already have get global page data that returns all of our data, including our header and footer. So as you could see here, we have a response and that response returns our title description, but also all of our header and footer data. For the sake of learning more about Strapi Populate, Let's go ahead and create another function that will just get the title and description so we don't overfetch and get any of the extra data. Let's see how we could accomplish this. Inside our code, let's navigate to our data folder under loaders. Under get global page data, we're going to create a new function and we're going to call it get global page metadata. We're going to say const URL equals new URL, we're gonna pass our path and including our base URL. And make sure you spell const correctly. And right below, we're going to say url.search equals qs.stringify and it's going to take an object. And here, we're just going to specify the fields that we want. We're going to say fields, and inside of an array, we're going to specify the field title and the field description. Finally, let's return await our fetch data and pass our URL string. Now we're able to call this inside our metadata component. And inside our layout.tsx file, we're going to update our metadata function. We're actually going to create a new one. We're going to say export sync function and it's going to be called generate metadata. It's going to turn our promise of type metadata. And for now, we're just going to use these hard-coded values. But inside here, we're going to make a request to our get metadata function that we just created. So I'm going to say await get global page metadata and let's make sure that we import it. So on line five, we're going to say get global page metadata. And now we're able to console.log our metadata. As you could see, our response only includes our title and the description. Perfect. So now let's go ahead and use it. So for our title, let's say let's get metadata.title. And we're going to do the same thing for description. Metadata.description. So notice our title is global page and our description is responsible for header and footer. So now when we take a look at our application, here we see our message for our title, global data. If we inspect the page by viewing page source, and I know this is not formatted nicely, but if we search for title, we see our global page and here we could see our description, which is pretty awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up a little bit by removing this console log. But to refresh, today we took a look how to set our metadata dynamically in Strapi. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one.